first serve because you got a partner helping you out up at net. But you still got some work to do because placement is so important. And one of the mistakes that recreational players make is they just sort of hit their favorite serve mm -hmm. when they're when they're standing up in the line and there's a very specific spot you know like like let's say out wide for example which is actually great in singles apparently yes. uh, well not apparently but according to your to your numbers yes but um, but with doubles how does it shake out well the right-handed server naturally likes to serve the ball wide that's a it's a natural location for that to land it's a bad location for doubles in the juice court you want to be serving a whole lot more body and a whole lot more to the backhand. When players decide whether they're playing juice court or ad court, typically the player in the juice court will be there because they like their forehand more. So you want to get it away from that forehand. You want to go a lot of the backhand jam. You're going to make a lot of serves. And the serving team in general wants to keep the ball in the middle of the court because it's going to boomerang back to the middle of the court. And the player that has first access and first right to the center window area is the service partner. So it's a really good idea for the serving team, especially in the juice court, going to the backhand, which has to be hit inside out. It's also the, uh, the weaker return for the player. And, um, and then you've got the uh, service partner all over the center window. Yeah, you talk about that boomerang where it's, you know, it literally, if it goes, you know, kind of this way, it has to come back most of the time back, back in, the, in the same direction. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, just, just in case we needed to clarify that point. Um, and it also, by, by going here, really shuts down the alley so your partner doesn't have to worry about it as much and can, uh, can really be aggressive and all over the net. Now, uh, another big mistake for, for recreational players is they serve and they just stay back. Mm -hmm. And your numbers obviously have shown how important it is to be, to be up at the net when you're finishing the point. Talk about the ways you can close the net because every player is a little bit different, strengths and weaknesses. The largest pool of points that exist on the doubles court is the server finishing the point at the net. Now, you can serve and volley. It's a great way to get in. Not a lot of people like to do it all the time. So you can delay it as well. You can hit a good serve. You can get a weaker ball. And you can approach on that weaker ball and finish up there. But finishing at the net is your number one goal as a serving team. And, and, and again, you can delay it. You can come in immediately but it is by far and away your best option. The returning team, it's a lot tougher for them to get in. You know, they kind of get second right and second access to the front of the court. So please, as a serving, as a serving team, make sure that you take advantage of that high winning percentage. Yeah, you have the head start as the serving team. Yes. So if you actually take advantage of it, you should be on the net, you know, eight out of 10 times, mm -hmm. something like that. So, sure. so, you know, if your serving volley is the obvious one, a lot of players struggle with that um, at the rec level, might not have the best first volley. So on the deuce, on the deuce side, uh, this formation is great because you have a forehand for a wider return and you can take that as an approach shot and then work your way, uh, work your way forward. A good formation on the ad court, if we reverse, or, or we just say, you know, now you're serving on the ad court here, instead of the normal formation like this, which sets up a backhand now, this would be a backhand approach for a righty. I know a lot of folks watching this, backhand is the weaker side. How can we actually manufacture it so the forehand is the approach shot? So Craig, talk a little bit about an, a formation uh, you like a lot, which is the I formation, and how that kind of facilitates approaching here. Or excuse me, uh, Australian formation. Well, I love the Australian formation, obviously. Uh, as, an, as an Aussie. <laughs> as an Aussie. Serving, the, the returner in the ad court is there because their returns are better. That's where they should be. And a lot of times the backhand is better and the natural angle cross court is really solid for an ad court returner. So what I like to do, especially in the ad, is move the net player over um, to the left side. So now their natural volley is going to be a forehand volley. And you, you take uh, this shot down the line, which is now going to be a forehand on this side. So you're making the returner have to hit the ball where the serving team wants it. We've got a forehand ground stroke as the first shot. We've got a forehand volley as a first shot. And we've got a backhand down the line, which they don't necessarily like, um, as, as their first shot. So you can completely change the dynamic against a good returner. Yeah, you can manufacture a way to get forward. And like we've seen from your analysis, you got to get to net, right? Yes. You got to just figure out 
what you need to do to move forward. There's a lot of ways with formations, serving locations.